Hello, my name is Himmel. I just turned 23 a couple of weeks back and I thought I'd share with you a few things that I have learned over the past three years being in my 20s and a few things that people have taught me that have really helped me when I've been struggling, when I've been going through some tough times and when I don't know what the right decision is to make. So if you're someone that's in your 20s or you're about to be in your 20s, I hope some of these things can help you out. I think one of the most challenging things about being in your 20s is that you have to go through so many changes. Now likely you've gone to high school, you've gone to university maybe, or you might have done a trade, or you might have gone straight into work. You've met a lot of people, you've lost friends, you've made new ones. And it also seems like when you're in your 20s, you're also hit with a massive amount of decisions to make about your future. Oh, and I forgot as well, some part of your body hurts. Like when you're in your 20s, you're just hurting like all the time, like you're meant to be in your prime, but you're not sucks. Maybe I'm the only one. I, I hope I'm not. Anyway, here are three big lessons that brought a lot of value to me and will hopefully bring a lot of value to you too as well. The first one is to make sure that you're working hard and you're working smart. I'm a firm believer and this is what it's been like for the whole of my life is that if you want something in life, like you want all the good things in life, that's going to take time, energy and effort from your end, right? You're going to have to work for it. But the key thing to remember here is, is that you can still get great results, right? Whether it be in grades, whether it be job wise, whether it be monetary wise, right? Whatever you would say success is for you, right? You can still get all of that and still have a balanced lifestyle, right? And the way you have a balanced lifestyle is by working smart. You can still get amazing grades, but then still get more than eight hours of sleep a night. And of course, you're gonna have that occasional all-nighter because you left something like that assignment or that project to last minute. And so you have to stay up into the wee hours of the night and then do whatever it is that you need to do and then submit it or, or deliver it the next day. But you're gonna, have, you're gonna have days like that, but it doesn't have to be like that all the time. Like I said, you gotta work smart, and work hard. People have this perspective that if you sleep less and you do more work, then you are considered successful. And unfortunately, I think it's, we are psychologically wired to even perceive other people like that, but you can get exceptional results and not be sleep deprived while you're doing it. Be incredibly aware and utilize the hours that you are awake because you can do a lot with them and not sacrifice your sleep. Number two, have a mentor. Sometimes you're gonna be faced with a lot of decisions to make and we're not gonna always know the right answer to them because we lack a lot of life experience. And that's the point in time when we have to ask someone else. And it's tempting at this point to ask our best friend, but sometimes our best friend who is the same age as us that hasn't got any more life experience than we do may not necessarily give the best advice. You're better off getting advice from someone that's much older than you and is in the next stage in life. Your mentor could be an older family member or someone that you met at a networking event. Just make sure that your mentor fits these three criteria. One, that they're older than you for life experience reasons. Two, that they're an expert in the field that you need help in. If they haven't got any success to show you in that particular field that you are interested in and you need a little bit of help with, where it be like relationships or careers, etc., then how can you know that you can trust their word? Right? You've got to make sure that they've got some results to show you or that some results that you know of. And the third one is, please make sure that they've got your best interest at heart. There's a lot of people out there, right? Some people aren't necessarily the best in the world, right? But there are a lot of people that want to help you out, right? So just make sure that you're really aware of this other person's intentions. And third, and probably the most important and useful tip is be patient. And when we're in our 20s, for the most part, majority of us, we've got an abundance of time. And the reason why we've got so much time is because we don't have that many responsibilities. We don't necessarily have a mortgage, right? We don't necessarily have kids. Uh, we don't necessarily have a partner, right? If you have any of these things, that's, that's fine. I'm sure you still have time as well. But for a lot of us, when we don't have these things, we have so much free time. And you have to understand that when we're in our 20s, right, these are the times that we can make mistakes and we can't afford to make mistakes because really the only person that it really affects is us when we stuff up. There is absolutely no rush to gain success, right? Whatever you choose to identify success as. But you have to also remember, this doesn't mean that you should sit around and do nothing. I think a lot of us mistake, hey man, you should relax. You've got all the time in the world. Take your time to mean, bro, you should sit down and watch Netflix, do whatever it is that you want to do and eat garbage. But what it actually means is, is don't expect results right now. Be hungry, be diligent, and keep making moves on whatever it is that you want to achieve. And the results will come in time. So those are the three things that I wanted to share with you that really helped me and are still helping me in my 20s. Work hard, work smart, have a mentor, and be patient.
Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. If you found it helpful and beneficial to you, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Give it a like, share with a friend or a family member that you feel like would benefit a lot from this. And if you want to see more of me, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel by clicking right here. And if you want to see my last video, check this out over there. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next one.